nice to meet you. And Mariah, nice to meet you. Hi, Mariah, Mariah, nice to meet you. This is Joseph. Hi, Joseph. Hi. And this Hi. is Elise. Hi, Elise. Melissa and her family are former adopters of ours. They adopted a dog named Dillinger from us. And they were kind enough to take on a 12-year-old dog with one eye. It's uh, kind of bittersweet that you're here, because you're here because you lost Dilly Boy. I know. Dillinger was the greatest gift we ever received. He was quiet, and he was loyal, and he was funny, and I miss him every day. He was well loved, believe me. We, he was our Dilly Bear. Yeah, uh, our Dilly oh, Bear. Good. Yeah. Once you've had a dog, it's weird not having one in the house and not having the constant noise of feet on marble and all that stuff. It's very, it's, it feels like there's something missing. You know, we, we picked out some dogs and we know that, you know, primarily we, we want this dog to be Joseph's dog. Joseph right? Friendly. Right. Yeah. Melissa's son, Joseph, is high functioning autistic. So, you know, we just wanted to make sure that we had the right dog with the right temperament. My son is very verbal and he's what we call very high functioning. But the parts of the brain that read social cues don't function properly. Everything is black and white to autistic children. There is no gray. But that's why they do so well with dogs, because dogs are very intuitive. I don't want, I don't want a dog that barks a lot. So <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the obvious one. My son being autistic really does get the final say about this dog, because he is particular. And if he and the dog don't get along, there's no point in taking the dog home. Um, Rise when I get Gilbert. I love the name already. 